Hey guys. Guess what? Today is New Year's Eve, and today is the last year of 2019, and also, the end of the decade which is the end of the 2010s. And in addition, it's officially the last day of living in this apartment where we live on 235 Clinton Street in the corner of Congress Street which is across the street from Cobble Hill Park. And we have several hours left of this year, and it's going to be all over. When the clock strikes midnight as the ball drops in Times Square, it's going to be 2020 which will be the new decade. And speaking of that, let's hope today is gonna be a great day unlike last New Year's Eve which was 2018. Can we do fireworks like we did last year in our New Year's episode? Please? No. No. A thousand times no. We're not gonna do fireworks again at midnight. Because of what happened last year. Alright guys. Since it's 11.59 which is one minute left until we say goodbye to 2018 and welcoming in 2019, we're gonna go watch this fireworks rocket explode into the sky. Surely, could you make this rocket fly by using a big lighter? Sure thing Chris. Holy atomic sky rocket Batman. Oh my. I think this fireworks rocket isn't going up in the air at all. Oh thanks to you Shirley. Now we're all going to be heard like we did in the last season episode. We're all going to blow. Happy New Year. Uh oh. Ah. Don't worry guys. We will have a New Year's Eve dinner and we will go outside and we will do some fireworks until we will be ringing in 2020. It's going to be a lot of fun. What's are we gonna have for a New Year's Eve dinner, Chris? Well, Wendy, we're gonna have pizza, cheeseburgers, fries, hot dogs, apple pies, tacos, chicken, spaghetti and meatballs, salmon, and lots of other foods. Can't we all go to Pothmark and get some food for New Year's Eve party? Yes we can. But I don't see why not. Alright Dan, can you try to help me look for the ground beef? Sure. I don't see why not. Oh hello Wolfman Jack. And who's that girl next to you? Oh, that's Forest Day. Hello there. My name is Doris Day, and I came back from the dead after I died on May 13th. What's yours? My name is Chris. And I'm Dan Ingram. Oh. Nice to see you too. I am spending New Year's Eve with Dick Clark, Guy Lombardo, and Johnny Carson when I will be singing hits like Sentimental Journey, Secret Love, It's Magic, Bewitched, Everybody Loves a Lover, Whatever Will Be Will Be, Que Sera Sera, and Move Over Darling. Well, that's pretty good to know. I love your singing, and I love your songs so much. I love Sentimental Journey, It's Magic, Bewitched, Whatever Will Be Will Be, K Sera Sera, Everybody Loves a Lover, Secret Love, and Move Over Darling. Do you know where's the ground beef? The ground beef is in the deli section. Thank you. It's that we just found the burger buns and that we're gonna get the ground beef, so that we could make the hamburgers. Alright, that's good. I hope you, Dan, Yo Yangles, Shirley, and the guys have a good time. Thanks a million buddy. I hope you have a good time too. Hey Tinkerbell, can you get me some Tab Cola while I'm watching Dick Clark's New Year's Rock in Eve when the ball drops in Times Square tonight? Ugh. You really need to stop drinking so much Tab Cola especially on New Year's Eve ever since you forgot to play X-Man for the Atari 2600 about 10 years ago. Peter, where the heck are you? I thought you were supposed to play X-Men for the Atari 2600 with me at 9pm. But now, it's 3am. I don't know what you are talking about Tink. I just feel so 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 bad. I wish I had to quit. Whatever, I'm gonna watch Arthur in an episode called DW the Picky Eater. Hey Tink. Is Chris and Dan home yet? Not yet Wendy. But they will be there in less than a few seconds. Oh hey guys. 
We're home. Oh thank goodness you're here. Peter is being so lazy right now that he rather wants to drink Tab Cola than helping us. Yeah. I noticed that very well, Tink. Wendy, can you help Tinkerbell by making the burgers and french fries, and hot dogs, and pasta since Peter rather wants to drink Tab Cola than helping? Sure thing, Dan. I am happy to help. That's good, Wendy. Now, you do your best helping Tink with the food. <laughs> So Bojangles and Shirley, how are you two doing? We're doing pretty good, Chris. So am I. Oh, look what I have here. Holy illegal fireworks, Batman, new son of a preacher man, Shirley. How did you find those fireworks? I found an atomic skyrocket from last New Year's episode in my cellar. How many times do I have to tell you, Shirley? We're not doing fireworks this year after the ball drops. Now what? I know, Dan. But Shirley just deliberately disobeyed me. I just don't know what to do now. I got an idea. Since it's New Year's Eve, we can set off fireworks in the Brooklyn Promenade like we did two years ago. Dan, thank you for inviting us to our New Year's Eve party. You're welcome, Sophia. We are all glad you guys came. I haven't seen you guys in the last decade. Anything New Year's resolution that's been happening in 2020? Well, the only New Year's resolution is that we are all going to be all like Danny and the juniors where they did at the hop. Wonderful! I'm going to be a senior when I grow up. Sorry Nipper, I'm not going to give you that. This is for a New Year's dinner. So you are Shirley's friend, right? That's right. She and I known each other for as long as I can remember. Both of us are going to be seniors next decade. Okay. They look about to be done. Okay everybody, it's dinner time. Come grab a plate, a napkin, and a fork. Shirley. You don't put those in someone's faces, guys. These things are way too cool. I would want to play with these every day like we do on the 4th of July. But it won't be fun anymore if it was every day, Shirley. Good point, Wendy. Hey, guys. It's 11.58, only two minutes until we ringing in 2020, and the fireworks are about to start. So be ready. Oh, boy. I can't wait to see it. first day of the new decade. We're moving to the new MTN building which is right next to the Brooklyn Bridge. This new building is better than the last one. Shirley, you and your friends are here to help you pack your stuff up. Hooray! I love my friends. What's up, Doc? I feel fine now. Look, the U-Haul moving truck is here. Let's pack. Good job. Now that all of the stuff in the entire apartment are all packed in the truck, we're all ready to go. Yes! But there's one thing left we need to do. Okay. So come right back. 
Lucy, I'm home. I love my new room here. I'm going to drink my Bartles and Jamie's exotic berry wine cooler. Okay. Goodbye. Old apartment on 235 Clinton Street in the corner of Congress Street next to Cobble Hill Park. Okay. I'm all set and ready to rock and roll. All right. Empty all of your cars and ready to move. We're all good on the Partridge family bus because we're all friends. Boys and girls are allowed, and all ages admitted. All right. Are we ready to rock and roll? Say goodbye old apartment. Goodbye old apartment at 235 Clinton Street. I love the Partridge family bus. Awesome. I know right. The producers of the TV show and the band gave it to me after the show ended in 1974. Where David Cassidy, Shirley Jones, and the rest of the band were broke up. That's why they given me this bus from the show, and the band. Look, there's the new MTN Studios by the Brooklyn Bridge. Where the Watchtower building used to be. Alright everybody, let's put all of the boxes in their rooms. There we go guys. My rooms are all decorated. There. Now this room is all set. There. Now my empty and office is now being set. There. Now my room is all set. There. Now my room is all set up. There. Now the kitchen has set up. Shirley, I want to say thank you for being on your best behavior when we were moving. You're welcome, Dan. I just miss this apartment on Clinton Street in Cobble Hill. Your room is so super cool. Now you can add all of the stuff that have into your room. Okay. And friends, I want to say thank you for helping us move some stuff. Thank you! You're welcome. And so... After 39 or so episodes, we reached the end of the season finale of the MTN Gang. I hope you enjoyed this special New Year's episode. Make sure to subscribe to our channel, and comment to our videos in which we would really like to see, and hit the bell notification for new videos. Be sure to support the show on Patreon, and donate money to PayPal. I will be taking a long break from making new episodes of the MTN Gang. I have other things that I have to do to make myself busy, like writing my book, and focus on illustrations. I made my first book called Misty and it was a fascinating book. It was illustrated and written by me. The book has sold very well over the last few months, and I made a lot of money. I hope we'll be writing more books in the future. After all has been said and done, I will be back with new episodes for the new season of the MTN Gang along with my first movie which will be in development soon, and lots of other stuff which will be in store for you in future videos. Don't worry, but there still might be more episodes coming up in Season 3 pretty soon. And so, on behalf of Dan, Bojangles, Wendy, John, Peter, Tinkerbell, Sophia the First, Michael, Shirley, and myself, we will wish you all, a Happy New Year.